I'm near Osage, Iowa right now with this dying line of thunderstorms behind me. Just a little bit ago, thought it was going to be surface-based. Apparently not the case. Uh, this is probably going to form a linear uh, type segment and track off to the east. Still watching for more development back to the west here that may become severe. I think we've got some capping inversions, um, some convective inhibition. Warm air aloft uh, was noted on some soundings. I looked at a sounding out of Rochester and a sounding out of Omaha, as well as one out of Quad Cities, Des Moines. They all have that strong capping inversion. One thing to note, uh, some of the hodographs were a little bit curved, so there could be tornado potential if we can actually get a surface-based storm out here. Uh, whether we're going to get one, I'm not sure at this point. However, it does appear that some of the model runs, NAM, the dreaded HER, are all indicating that there could be a second wave that comes through from central Minnesota all the way through northern Iowa, southwest Wisconsin, and northern Illinois. Now, that's the main thing that I'm watching right now for severe weather. Uh, if that does occur, again, we could get tornadoes, damaging winds, large hail, and this will trek all the way across southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois, bringing some much needed rain. So really hoping that that occurs. Of course, we don't want to see severe weather, but the rain is much needed. Extreme drought conditions up here are, are apparent. Um, everything, even in northeast Iowa up here, everything is so dry. So some much needed rain may come tonight for the tri-state area.